Um, I'm Marlo Lemon, and I, am a, I have a wonderful husband by the name of Frizzell, and I have three beautiful children. I call them my double blessing and my little surprise because Joshua and Matthew are twins, and they are now seven, and my daughter is five and three quarters. Her name is Victoria. She'll be six in April. Matthew is my son that's diagnosed with autism. He was officially diagnosed at Kennedy at two years, three months. The signs were there. You know, the signs were there with the lack of eye contact and his not pointing, not necessarily following me with his eyes, but it's things that I know now. The looking at the fan and purpose going on and on and on with it. I'm taking cars and spinning the wheels. I didn't know to teach him to you know, play appropriately with the toys. Um, within our early achievements classes here, Matthew was the only African American within his group of five or six. I do feel like we are definitely underrepresented. However, in our culture, family one is very, very important. You know, fa we, we tend to listen to family and a lot of times um, not necessarily acknowledge mental health disorders, but if a, a physician or someone says, you know, well, let's give it um, a couple of more months, let's wait and see. Even if your gut intuition says something might not be right, we tend to listen to um, our doctors or health professionals. We don't question as much. A lot of times you have to step out in this journey, particularly as, African, as African Americans, by yourself. No one else might not believe that something's wrong with your child. You know you have that instinct. Uh, and it might be that you have to stand up on your own, sometimes against family, and just get them the help that they need. I can't imagine where Matthew would be now if he had not gotten early intervention. Um, at seven, yes, he's nonverbal, but he definitely can communicate. We've given him different ways to communicate, not only with us, but now within the outside world using assistive technology. For Matthew, the reason I knew he really was doing a lot better, I would always say, Matthew, come here. Matthew, look at cup. Matthew, pick up cup. Matthew, put cup in sink. But one day, just talking regularly, I said to him, Matthew, get the cup and go put it in the sink. And Matthew got the cup, he put it in the sink. And that's a conversation I would have had with Joshua and Victoria. Meeting parents where they are, not necessarily putting labels on it, giving parents strategies and tools to work with their child. The importance of play, my vocabulary changed. Follow your instincts. If you believe that something is off, follow your instincts. Regardless of Matthew's diagnosis, I've always been, said, you know, we have to give him what he needs. We have to maximize Matthew's potential. But that's my personality. A lot of times people or parents get stuck in the, oh, woe is me, it can't be my child. And we need to move on from that. I have found in these seven years that parents, um, I belong to a lot of parent groups, and they are the best resources. If I